how to extract a number from text in Excel. So here we've got a cell with a group in it. So these group numbers are all just one to nine. So this makes it really easy because they're all single digit. So we can just go equals right, which grabs the right characters from this cell. And the number of characters we want is one. And from here, we've extracted our group number. Um, if we've got more than one, we can go right this cell and three characters because we've got up to three numbers with how this number is formatting and then down and we have our group number. Okay, seeing as this isn't changing to a number, we can just try and multiply it by one and there we go, it converts it to a number and everything's behaving itself and now we can see the number of each group in this thing. Now what if we've got a slightly more complex group where there's like three characters, one character, three characters, whatever. If we wanted to just do right, whatever, we can't really do that. So we need to know where our number starts. So we've got, we're going to find where group is. So equal search, and we'll find the text that is group space. And so this will find what character this string group starts. So in this it'll be like after Janet's space and the that posture thing. In fact, if we want, we can add space, 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 and then we won't get any actual like false positives. Oops. And within the text here, the start number will start at zero. So that's fine. Cool, 13. So we know at character 13 is where this string starts. But we want to start like seven characters later, eight characters later and go to the end of the text. So if we went right and we go text, this text, and we go length, this text, minus the search, and you get the asterisk group thing. So we'll just cut off the, what's that, six, eight characters. So minus eight, and we get the right string, and for whatever number, we return the correct string. Okay, so what if we're on the left? Uh, it's again, similar thing. We know that it's always formatted as starting at group, so it's all formatted the same, but there's different numbers and numbers. So we want to find where that space apostrophe space starts. So search space, sorry, dash, not apostrophe in this text starting at zero and so at character eight so that's there so we know that we find um starting from character seven is where we want to find so to get the number we'll call mid so so mid of this text so it's in the middle of this text somewhere starting at seven or six seven i can't do maths and number of characters will be that minus seven so this so this one's returning what character it's on and this will give us the correct answer and then here like at 152 there's three characters so we've got this search is returning character 10 for this dash and then minus seven, and we get all our number. And that's all there is to it. Hope you enjoy and find this useful. Thanks for watching.